Hi, I'm back for Gemini. Got some meditative session notes for you. So when I did my meditation for you, Gemini, I got um, just a man. He was walking around in the cold outside, like looking from window to window. Yeah, through one of the windows, it was a lady um, in there with her baby, a mom and a baby. And he was just looking like in windows, like he was looking for his home. Like he needed to find a place that felt like home to him. Um, it was freezing out there. I could feel the wind blowing. It's like, you know, coming, come, being in the cold, looking for your home. What feels like home to you. Um, then I seen a soccer game where there was a team, two teams. One team was the Lions. And I know that only because the Lions won. Whoever the soccer team named by the Lions. Um. It was a crazy man in the bleachers just shouting at the kids, you know. And that's what my attention kept being, my focus kept being drawn to that crazy ass man on the bleachers yelling at the kids, cussing at the kids. But another thing was weird after that. Um, it began to show me a soccer mom van with the mom driving it with one of those kids from the soccer game. Well, in the shadows and the distance, the crazy man from the bleacher was peeking and looking and lurking, trying to watch, you know, watch the lady. And it didn't show me the lady. It didn't show me the faces. And the only thing I could see was that one of the kids had on a soccer outfit and he had a sister in the back with him. And then I could see in the shadows that that man was lurking and looking, trying to see where they're going, trying to follow them to where they're going. So, um... Watch out for that crazy man on the blinkers, whoever the hell he is, because he's nuts. He don't. He seems all bad. Okay. So with that, I politely tell my kids when I'm going to do a reading. Tell them don't bother me. The first thing they do is bother me. All I want to do is wave by, get out, because you already heard what I said before I started. So that's all I'm gonna do is wave, get out my kitchen. I gave up the living room so they can stay in there and watch TV. Can't go no dag on where. Give me some peace. Anyways, universe, it's me again. Old faithful. Spiritual healer. Here. Get a message. A message from the Animal Oracle Spirit card deck. For the second Gemini. What do you see fit for us today, universe? For the sign of Gemini. Let me get us an animal oracle card. Right after I light these candles back up. Got to have earth, wind, and fire up in here. Earth, wind, fire, and water. I got my water here. I am I am the water. <laughs> Pisces, that's all the water I need. Okay. So what do we got for us today? Well, that was fast. I've never seen well, I have seen somebody's car come out that fast. But that was pretty quick. Frog spirit. Feeling froggy didn't leap? No. Frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. Clear out the clutter. So that's what we got today for Animal Oracle. So let's read the meaning to that card. I'm so glad that y'all was easy and only gave me one card. I wanted to make sure though because I thought I feel a card flip in here. And I don't see it. Because if it flip, it's got to come out. We got to take it. If it flip all the way over, it's got a message for us. Nope, it's just that one. Okay. Okay, what do you see? Frog spirit number 28. Frog spirit knows that while all the other frogs are croaking away, this is a time for you to simply and I'm sorry, to simplify and declutter your life so that you can feel content on your own lily pad. Somebody out here looking for a home. A lily pad. Oh. Even when life isn't creating a total cacophony, we can become drawn to the excitement of lots of noise. 
Then the next thing we know, our schedules and our homes are cluttered with commitments we regret making and objectives taking up valuable space. Even relationships need decluttering as they often become messy. Frog spirit appears to tell you to clean house. Prioritize what you need and get rid of or give away the rest so you can have some space in your day, in your head. You don't need a you don't need a uh, need the old stuff in this story shouting at you about the past along with physical clutter. Friendships are sometimes kept long past their expiration date, weighing you down with unnecessary baggage. Now's the time to let go. Whatever you need will appear when you need it. So release your grip on all the clutter that is making you feel anxious and burdened. Frog Spirit wants you to reclaim your space unencumbered by should, should um, unencumbered by shoulds, oughts, and could have beens. Let it go and jump. You are free from all that old stuff. Hey, that's a good one, John. That's a good one. So without further ado, I'll get right into it. Get right into the tarot. Okay. So here we go. Please subscribe to my channel. Like it. Comment on it. Let me know if it resonates with you. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So universe. Me again. Spiritual healer. Look at the messages for the sign of Gemini. We ask that you give us three cards of the past energy. Three cards of the current energy. Three cards for the future of your outcome. Thank you. Here we go. Past energy for Gemini. Get three cards out here when I got the first one. It is, what's this? Four of Cups. Being bored. Or feeling like you missed the opportunity. I offered that was given but was not received. Two more out here for the Geminis. Two more out here. Two more out here. Okay, they gave us three. Got the Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Wands in reverse. And down here we got the Three of Swords in reverse. Healing, being bored, or have an offer come in that is not accepted, divine timing, will of fortune, spending in your favor, queen of wands in reverse. I'm feeling like this is some Geminis out there not believing in themselves, not believing in their power to manifest what they want. And healing, love that card. In the past, got some healing energy. We get three current cards for the current energy for Gemini. Three cards for the current energy. We got the four pentacles reverse. Three cards. Two more cards for the current energy for the sign of Gemini. Two more cards for the current energy of Gemini. Two more cards. The lovers. There you are, Gemini. The important that's the Gemini card, the lovers. Get one more for the current energy. Seven of Cups. Options or illusion. Okay, we need three for future outcome or advice universe. For the sign of Gemini. Three more cards. For future advice or outcome. We got one. So five of Wands. I'm speaking in there. I fell back in the place. Two more for the pot, for the for the possible outcome or advice for Gemini. Two more. Two more for the sign of Gemini. Oh, there's one. Nine of Cups. We need one more now. We're running out of space here on this counter. They booted me at my spot. Okay. So we got the five wands down here first. Then we got the nine of cups. Now we need one more card. One more card. There's a lot of twin flame stuff going on. The tower. 
a powerful realization. Okay, so let's do some clarifying. In the past, it looks like you were uh, bored with the offer or bored or discontent with something. Something that you needed to heal from. Something that you uh, possibly manifested but didn't turn out to what you thought it would be. So now you feel a little... Um, unbelieving in yourself so let's see what this four of cups is for gemini what's this four of cups for gemini four of cups for the gemini shoot that's too many i'm sorry i'm not i'll keep these ones on the counter but then that just won't be right so i guess i can't keep none of them but we do got the emperor here and the eight of pentacles in reverse okay so what do we have here for the four of cups, we gotta do it again. We gotta do the shuffle again. Okay, here we go. Four of cups for the Gemini. I just don't like that the cards be following. King of Wands upright. That's the king and the queen right here in the past, but the queen's in reverse. So basically, discontentment and boredom with the king of wands. Somebody's player like energy being in and out, cause a conflict. Got that again in the future uh, uh, advice or outcome. I'm gonna stand up, y'all, because I might have to pick some cards up off the floor. So you're feeling discontent with some player energy that is in and out, or um, yeah, basically in and out. Player energy is bothersome to you. You're discontent with it, you're bored with it, and you want something new. Okay, let's see what this little of fortune is. So you, that's why you're in reverse here. Because, you know, you are the person you're dealing with. Nobody, somebody's no longer happy being the Queen of Wands. Let me get this Wheel of Fortune here for Gemini. Wheel of Fortune. It gave me three. It gave me three. I wanted to see because none of my cards are in reverse. But they flopping out. We got the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Three of Wands. I mean, the Three of Hearts. Hearts. Emotion. Three of Cups. I'm sorry about that. So, that's clarifying here at the Wheel of Fortune. Divine time that comes through. Or the wheel turns in your favor. And the celebration is to be had. The King of Pentacles in reverse is not stable. The situation is not stable. Something is not stable here. Something is not stable. And the Queen, King of Pentacles is the fastest moving, fastest, the slowest moving night in the deck. In reverse, this is taking place fast or not at all. Okay? But it's recalling for celebration. Universe turns in your favor and you go from being unstable to stable. Not financially abundant to financially abundant. And it happens fast and it's a celebration. What's this? I was going to say, what's this Queen of Wands in reverse? Somebody's burdened. Somebody is burdened. Is it that you burdened by this Queen of Wands? Reverse? Because you don't want you don't want to be the Queen of Wands no more, or the Queen of Wands is a burden by you, and they no longer want to be your Queen of Wands. Okay, you in fire energy right now, and let's let's keep going. I don't want to make too many assumptions. Let's see what the cards say. This will come out again. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Bye. The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You no longer want to put in the work here. Because it's too much of a burden. You want to heal from it. Okay, what is this Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Eight of Wands. Fast move of communication. Regarding, what is this Eight of Wands? Queen of Swords. 
somebody that is cutting off what no longer serves them. Standing in their truth and cutting out what don't work for them. So you decided that you're not, you are the person you deal with. The roles can be reversed. Somebody decided here that they're not putting no more work into this. And they decided quick, fast, and honest. What's this? This um, three of swords in the reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. It's already up there, too. You're healing. Divine is timing is at play. And the Wheel of Fortune going to be changing for you again. What's this Wheel of Fortune the second time around? That's a whole lot of divine timing. And dang, them cards just snatched out my hand like that. That's five cards. No, I'm leading. That's too many. I'm just not going to take those. What's this Wheel of Fortune right here? Second time around for the Gemini. Wheel of Fortune. The second Wheel of Fortune. Let me clarify this. Cards got some messages they want to play. Okay, I'm trying to get this clarification for this little fortune for Gemini. It's a certain card they need to see me out here. I'm just waiting. A little fortune for the Gemini. Look, the lovers card bouncing around in there. A little fortune for the Gemini. Hermit. Going within and gaining a new perspective. Intuitively, I'm getting that um, some of you are um, shining a light on a new path, a new journey that you're going to bark upon. Okay, what's this for? Uh, pentacles in reverse. For Gemini. Four pentacles in reverse. Page of Cups and the World Card. Upright, the, the four of pentacles is holding on too tightly. In reverse, you have released control about some apology that you either want to give or you feel like you are old and you're just putting it behind you. Closing that cycle and beginning anew. Lovers. What is, what is this cycle? What's this world card here? Putting it into being stuck in your head and having anxiety. What's the lovers? The queen of cups. Could be dealing with a water sign. A Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. But clarifying the lovers is the queen of cups. You want to work together with the queen of cups to make the lovers happy. Or the queen of cups want to work together with you. Let me get some clarifications. Or it could just be a whole lot of love there. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, Three of Pentacles. No, too many threes done popped up here. This is a... Uh, I hate to say it, but this has got to be some third party energy here. Currently, no, it's no third parties, but in the past, it was a lot of, first of all, it's two kings there and two queens. I don't feel third party, though. Let's just keep going, but it's a lot of threes out here. That normally signifies third party. So, let's see. Let's, let's keep clarifying the queen of cups and three of pentacles. And it's clarified by the king of swords. He's fair, he's just, sometimes he's cold and distant. But see, with the, the King of Swords here, he's all about logic. Queen of Cups, she's all about love. And this is working together. Working together to accomplish the lovers in a balanced space of heart and head. That's good. That's what you want to accomplish. You want some peace here. You want to make it work. 
the, the right amount of logic and the right amount of love, higher level commitment, the higher fence you're looking for a marriage out of this person. They go to King of Swords again. <laughs> and then it's followed by the two of, two of Swords. Needed to make a decision, but you don't know which way to go. And that's probably what this illusion card here is doing. It's illusions for you. What's this two of swords? This decision that needs to be made. Stability. Stability. So you got the logic and you got the love, but there is no pentacle. So the decision is that some stability needs to be talked about. Okay, what's the Seven of Cups? Seven of Cups. The Judgment. What's the Judgment? The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. Let me start a card. A judgment call was made on the illusion. When the warrior card, this person has been through a lot. They love themselves. They feel enlightened. What's this star card? Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands combination here. For the current energy of the Gemini. Tarot card in reverse. With the card, with the star card upright, somebody's um, holding the tower moment off here. They don't want this tower to fall. Mm. This story is weird. So you go from not holding on to the apology that you felt like you were due, but you're still in your mind about it, to the lovers with the equal amount of, of logic and love working together to make a higher level of com commitment being confused because you feel like you don't have the clarity that you need to make this decision based upon some offer of tangible materialistic things so they say hell oh, boom that's an illusion so judgment come on through to clear that illusion out for you and now you still feel like you wounded warrior. You want to be single? Because now you're enlightened, but you want to hold off the tower moment. So it's like you know you need to go, but you're just so, you're so comfortable being where you used you comfortable being. So let's go out here to this five of wands. Five of wands for the Gemini. Walking away. Because you're conflicted with the fact that you need to walk away. This is the future. Or outcome outcome up here you was conflicted about being discontent with this in and out injury but now you conflicted with the fact that you got to walk away you got to pick one baby you can't just be out having nobody treat you any old kind of way and now you don't want to walk away motherfucker making you share now you don't want to walk away oh because time invested fuck all that fuck all that the universe needs you to walk away sweet pea what's this eight of cups what's this eight of cups temperance you, this, uh, the universe is here to support you every step of the way and make sure you stay balanced and everything around you is balanced. Every situation, everybody involved receives a decent income outcome. So what's this nine of cups here? The knight of swords. He's swag. He's sorry. He's swift, harsh truth. And this puts you in your head. But you already been in your head. Up in here. You come out from the non-anxiety feeling. But now you're still in a mental imprisonment about this. About this wish fulfillment. Walk away. Because when you walk away. Then you can get into your whole nine of cups energy. Okay. And I'm assuming that this tower means a powerful realization of fact. That your nine of cups is right there. And you didn't even see it. Don't know, but this is going to be a realization. So let's see what you in your head about. What's this Eight of Swords for the Gemini? Eight of Swords for Gemini. 
Tater sauce. It's crying over spilled milk. You too focus on what you got to walk away from instead of focusing on what you got behind you, which is a wish fulfillment. The nine of cups, wish fulfillment. These two cups sitting up. Go get that. Walk away. Okay, what's this tower card for the Gemini? The lovers. <laughs> that powerful realization, like, oh, okay, I get it now. Got the four cups out here again. Being bored or feeling like, look at that. Bottom of the deck, three of swords. Up there, it's in right, upright. You know, in healing. But that's not even in the read. I'm just showing that to show that this was in the first line of cards with this. Up in reverse, okay? Now it's here again. A powerful realization to let you know. Your two of cups is within somebody that you was bored with or somebody that offered you something that you didn't accept. Or you're feeling like you missed an opportunity. What is this? Oh, three of wands come out where you're waiting on your ships to sell in. What is this? Four of cups, three of wands. 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 Knight of cups. Somebody coming in with an offer and emotion. Regarding the lovers. So what is this four of cups here for then? Because that seems happy. What's this four of cups? What's this four of cups here? Eight of pentacles in reverse. Putting in the hard work. Something you wasn't willing to do back here. Okay. Seems like a story is coming back around. So this time you're going to put some hard work in it. And this might be with a whole new person too. Anything else for the universe? Seven of floors. Feeling like you got the higher ground to stand up and fight for something. Five of swords. Feeling conflicted. Well, that wasn't bad. We already get that you feeling conflicted. You just, you in and out. Stay out your head, Gemini. You stay out your head, things work a lot better for you. Stay out your head and into your intuition. Balance your head and your heart and let it be that, okay? So that's what I got for you today, Gemini. And thank you for joining me for your reading. This has been your reading here at the Spiritual Healing Channel with me, the Spiritual Healer. Please like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. And my mouth keep water. Um, I'm feeling a little nauseous right now. I don't know what the hell that was. It just came over me. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe. If that helps the channel grow. And I would really appreciate it. Any information you need regarding personal readings. Donations. Any of that. It would be down in the description box. So. Hope to see you next time. Because you done subscribed to my channel. And now you're going to know that I'm putting down a reading again for Gemini. Hope this helps somebody. Because this is confusing. Okay. Your life, not mine. See you later. Bye.